If you're like most people, come mid-January, you are crawling the walls looking for something to do. Anything to do. Well, if you look hard enough, you can find adventures hiding just about anywhere. Even tiny ones. I found ours the other day in the form of a free ferry ride in the middle of January from Bristol, Rhode Island to Providence. It seems the odds were stacked against us. About a month beforehand, the ultimate chaos came crashing down around half the people of Rhode Island when suddenly and unexpectedly, on a Monday morning during rush hour, the Washington Bridge, also known as Interstate 195, was deemed unsafe and immediately closed. If you were driving in from eastbound, this was really the only way into the city or beyond. Suddenly, commuters were stuck in all-day traffic jams with almost no options. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation scrambled to come up with some solutions to alleviate some of the snarled traffic. One idea was to run a ferry from Bristol, Rhode Island to Providence, free to the public. But you can almost see the writing on the wall. To nobody's surprise, to be a true red-blooded American, you'd rather sit in parked cars and complain about the traffic rather than try to figure out how to take the extra steps to make free public transportation work. It's not convenient, the trolls shouted online. And of course, nobody used the free ferry. Soon, it was announced they'd be ending the run the second week of January. That sounded like a challenge to me. Who doesn't want to take a free boat ride and see the sights of the upper Narragansett Bay? We scrambled to make it happen, but we may have scrambled a little too hard and didn't pay close enough attention to details and missed our first opportunity. A couple of days later, we were game on again to get our free ferry ride before it shuts down. This time, it required a school pickup and the dreaded parent pickup line. Sitting in the pickup line may really just be a hands-on curriculum for kids when they get older, so they'll know the true soul-crushing experience of sitting in traffic on their way to work. The race was on to catch the 3 p.m. ferry. Fate threw us a couple curveballs, but we prevailed. Victory! We are on our way to see the upper Narragansett in the middle of winter. The setting sun bathed the snowy bay in a golden light. It was beautiful. I know, it was just a ferry ride on a boat that some may view as nothing more than a bus ride on water, but it was our little adventure. Not a bad way to spend an afternoon with my daughter. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. An adventure is an adventure, no matter how big or small. Sometimes it just requires a little more imagination. It's all what you make of it. <laughs>